<laughs> I, I feel like I still look sleepy. Like I have bags under my eyes. And uh, I haven't even had my coffee. But I feel like with the... The, with the day with the way my day is looking i'm like i might not have any other time to make this video so i wanted to get it out the way uh i want to thank my dear lovely sister who is an artist in R richmond virginia um who inspired this topic um and it's just so interesting because right after uh we talked I was listening to some motivational things and um, it was further confirmed because I love coincidences um, with hearing something, seeing something, something happening twice, three times, whatever. Um, you thinking about something, you seeing it, you know, whatever. Um, and so it just kind of kind of further confirmed like, okay, especially what she was saying. And, you know, I know that it can seem like everything that comes to you that is good seems like to be it's for you it's good everything that like oh okay this is meant for me okay 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 this is going good it feels good it looks good it smells good but sometimes <laughs> you know everything that comes to you that is good isn't a forever thing or should be a forever thing and I think that just goes back to us being able to look at our lives and understand that like we're fluid. We're constantly like, you know, nothing ever stays the same in the sense. So, you know, things can come, but things shouldn't always be the forever solution, the, the forever whatever, if that makes any sense. So I will use people and money because I think that people and money are the biggest um the best examples and one of the things that like everybody it's either about one of the two typically <laughs> at least with me um so let's talk about let's use money so for me money was coming in and i had worked so hard to gain this sense of financial security and stability and the working hard didn't necessarily um pay off like I wanted to. So I had to reframe my thinking. I had to say, you know, I don't have to work hard to have what I need. If it's for me, it's going to come to me. If, if you know, the universe and God always make sure that everyone else and everything else has what they need and they don't stress and they don't, you know, have to go out of their way to overcomplicate this thing, especially because this is the way that it has been designed. So for example, food, Food, you should already believe that food is abundant because that is what we have been created to need. So, of course, it's going to come to you. Of course, it's going to be provided to you. And so it was with money. I went through several different phases in my life of looking at money, feeling about money, handling money. I went through a hoarding phase of like, oh, you know, I'm never going to have enough. If something happens, it can run out. I went through a, you know, I, like I said, the working hard. I've got to work three jobs to have everything I need. That wasn't the best either. Um, the hoarding was a coming place of lack and fear and desperation. Like it, it can't circulate and flow, go out and come back if you're like, you know, in a place of constant frenzy, if that makes sense. Um, and then I got to a place where it's like you almost for me, I was almost like in my head, I'm invincible. I've got this thing down to a T. Money definitely comes easy. I don't have to work hard. I don't have to break a sweat. And I'm almost in my ego and I'm almost like um, not even thinking about like how all money is not good money. I need to maybe think about how you've been there, done that, but now you need to shift, you know, um, where you get your money from, how you get your money you know, what is it that you're sacrificing? What is it that you're doing to not to maybe stagnate yourself in terms of money? So it's okay to outgrow a career. It's okay to say, you know, all right, okay, um, this company has been great, but I think I want to try a new company. Um, working for someone, period, has been great, but it's it's capping me here. So I maybe I should try to be my own boss. Maybe I should try to start my own company. 
Um, going outside the home has been great. Maybe I should expand my horizons and see how I would feel and how my money would look if I was saving gas, saving my commute time, saving money on eating out and work from home. These are all things that like, yeah, they're not, they might not be comfortable and they push us out of our comfort zone. But if the same way that those, though, that money and those opportunities and resources and abundance came in that package, why wouldn't it come in another package still for you? Still just as much as the last opportunity. And my sister said that. She was like, you know, you are able to, you can have it all in the sense. Like, there are other ways to do other things to get what you want and need. You've, you've been there, done that. It's time for you to go on. And I never looked at it like that. I never looked at it as like, you know, um, huh. I'm thinking this is it. This is good. We're at a good place. And then I'm and then I'm separating my career paths and you know my side hustles and all the other little things. There's YouTube. This is this platform. There's there's this platform where it's like, you know, we've seen people do amazing things with YouTube and all different genres and all different niches and all different interests. There really are no rules. Social media and the internet has done some amazing things with how we've all been able to see people share their goods and services, share their stories, and we want to give to them. We want to, you know, donate and, and buy their goods and buy their courses and and really experience um, who they are. And it's so easy for me because I am a Virgo and because I love entrepreneurship um, and I love, you know, all things, um, creative and explorative and people really being able to tap into their talents and then, um, let that be a way of, um, making a living. It's so easy for me to look at everybody else and say, oh, honey, this is so simple. All you need to do is take your business to the next level and da 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 da. That's always been, in, you know, like in the in 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 the back of me, in a sense. And um, having dibbled and dabbled entrepreneurship and things like that, like I just have that eye. Um, it's so easy for me uh, to look at someone else's, you know, dream, their plan, and it's like, oh, this is so easy. This is so doable. Like, you can definitely make a living, you know, doing this. You can definitely start this business like this. All you need is this type of marketing, this type of strategy, this type of plan, blah, 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 blah. Now, whether you want to act on it, it's totally up to you. But, you know, don't, don't not act on it coming from a place of fear, lack, what if. I just, I don't know if I'm going to be everyone's cup of tea. I don't know if it's going to pay off. I don't know. Well, when I think about the time that we commit, the time that I have committed to everyone else's business, company, services, and I am exchanging this, this dollar amount for my time when I can invest in myself, that in itself too is limiting. Not that it wasn't a stepping stone. Not that it wasn't something that, you know, showed me a new viewpoint. I mean, my friend and I were talking and it was like there was a time when this was God. This was maybe 10 years ago, almost 10 years ago, when it was like the dream was if you could make $15 an hour, work a nine to five and have weekends off. Oh, my God. But back then, that was a manager's salary. That was that was that was that was, you know, you had to be. Assistant manager, key holder, store manager, something, something like that. And typically to get those type of positions, you had to have, you know, some college degree typically, or you had to work with the company for a while, worked your way up in good with the, you know, the people at the top, whatever, 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 a lot of loopholes. And, you know, if you're in retail, for example, or um, at a small business, it's like you, you're already kind of like, I'm not going to be here that long, but I wish I could be making that money. <laughs> because <laughs> I remember when my rent used to be nine something and that was considered a lot, a lot of money then and now here here I am and now rents are 15 16 17 two grand for a townhouse I mean but people are making a lot more so it's always going to be this constant you know um constant like Everything's going to be increasing and moving and changing, but you too can move and change. You don't have to limit yourself. As things go up, so can your income. But don't define yourself and limit yourself 
just with all that you're comfortable with and all that you just know just in this season and i have been encouraged and inspired to think of like the same power that i took to create my dream life the same power that i took to create um each job better than the next job better than the next job and then now the goal the goal is to have a career and a passion because jobs and careers are very different job is something that's temporary huh you do it you did it to you know reach a goal a career is something that you're invested in you you might love it hopefully you love it there are tons more benefits it it eases up and opens up a lifestyle for you because of the income that you have coming in that you can afford everything you need and want you have the health benefits your taxes aren't that bad you know all the things that the career has set you up for and you have a work life balance hopefully i'm 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 using the dream career now not that everybody's career is set up this way but you know if you're being positive and you're really you know creating your life a career is a is a it's you doing what you love working in your purpose to just simply exchange the monetary amount to give you the life that you want and deserve that's all it is it's not hard. It's not stressful. There is work-life balance. You have more than enough. You don't even think about paydays. You don't even worry about, oh, is it is it Friday yet? You don't, nothing is 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 hard for you. You don't have a, you know, you're, I was, gonna, I was gonna, I was about to say you don't have a long commute, but even if you did have a long commute, it's not a strain on you. That's what I'm trying to say. Whereas a job might be just something that you got on the fly. You might stay there for a year and it's a stepping stone, you know? But anyway, um, I have been encouraged and inspired, and I hope that I can um, share that journey with you all. Because um, if you're interested, <laughs> you gotta you gotta want to know. Um, but yeah, like I love. I've always said this, and I will continue to say this. I love when I get to a place in my life where it's like, yay, something new to work on. You know, like it's great to get get into a routine and a habit with something it's great to be familiar with something and know that you know that you know but then it's great to have a new challenge be at a new place in your life where it's like okay 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 time to put on my good big girl panties put on my gloves you know hard hat whatever you need get your tools and get to work you know this is something that i that i need to do and i'm gonna be better for it and so, um, yeah, that's what I wanted to share. Thank you, Sissy, for inspiring this video. Um, oh, 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 and I really wanted to tie in how I was confirmed that this message um, was, was like, oh, yeah, it's definitely a thing. Um, a fellow YouTuber was talking about how she manifests and, you know, how you can, too, manifest in your life. And at the very end of her video, she touched on... Um, um, basically just because you did manifest a certain thing doesn't mean you have to accept that thing because it may not be in the right form that you need. It may not be the timing. It may not be whatever. And so you can therefore send it back almost and say, I need it to be like this. It needs to be like that. And that, that took me back to all money isn't good, buddy. You know what I mean? You can have someone offer you an amazing opportunity. But in your gut, you're just like, Ugh. You might even take the opportunity. But let's say it's not working out for you. You know, it, it wasn't what you thought. Do you suffer through that and say, but the money's so good, so I'll just, I'll just tough it out, you know, because I'm not going to have... An opportunity like this may not come again. That's what we tell ourselves. That right there is where you just now self-sabotage yourself because that job came. That job had this, this great dollar amount, all these benefits and everything that you thought you wanted, but you don't. So you send it back. It's like when you order the food and not only does, does it not taste like what you thought it was going to taste, there's some hair in it. Would you sit there and just suffer through it and be like, I'm just going to eat it because, A, I don't want to, you know, inconvenience them. I'm already hungry. It's going to take forever. And you just, you just shovel it down? No. 
Especially if you done dressed up, you're there with your friends, it's a five-star restaurant. It's going to cost you a lot of money. It's going to cost you time. You know what I mean? And you're just going to just, eh. You would say, excuse me, thank you so much for bringing this. However, I would like to order something else because it's not quite what I expected and there's some hair in it. And they're going to say, oh, absolutely. Let me bring you another menu. Give us some time, but we'll have something else. That's how life is. Oh, oh, I didn't touch on relationships. So someone comes in your life. He's great. He's, he's just everything you think he needs to be. And, you know, it may be time's almost up. He's been great. It, you know, he didn't cheat on you. You didn't cheat on him. He didn't lie to you. You didn't lie to him. You didn't have any issues. But, you know, you're just not, you're just like, yeah, you know, I don't know. Let's say you want, you might want a family, you are very, you know, goal oriented and whatever, whatever, and you have a specific view of what you want your future to look like. And he's got, he's got very different plans. He wants to be a pilot and gone and gone half the time and doesn't want kids right now. And, you know, it's at a good place. Are you going to think that you're going to change this man's mind? Are you going to wait for him to change his mind? Are you going to put your life goals and desires on hold you put your family on hold and be moving around all around the country with him when you know you want to be settled you know you want to do these certain things and he does not it's nothing wrong it's nothing bad about him it's nothing bad about you but he is not a good match right now it is not a good thing for you right now so you say you know this has been this has been so fun i have so enjoyed dating you and getting to know you and we can we should stay friends so when you're you fly in and and you know or if i fly out let's let's get drinks and i wish you all the best of luck it is so much better even though it's uncomfortable and you don't like uh, to do that than to 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 hold on and think that no other man can possibly want a family stability your goals you know have the same family blah 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 blah, blah dynamic as you blah 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 you're just going to just hold on to this one because he's the last man on earth. You know, that was the last. We limit ourselves in the same breath that we just experienced so much good that came to us, even though that wasn't the good that we needed at that time. Fast money, big money, quick money isn't always what we need at that time. Big, shiny, new red car isn't maybe what's best for us at that time. Not saying you can't have that brand new, shiny, pretty red car. But if your goal is to buy a house, the car maybe should wait. Get the car after you get your house. Because when the bank looks at, you know, blah, 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 they might be like, eh, your, your car payment could be out the way a little bit. You know, not that we don't think you don't make your car payment. Not that we don't think you, you know, don't have a great interest rate. Not, not to think that anything like that but we have to do what we have to do we're looking at it from a very different perspective nothing against having a car <laughs> last example last example you know so here we are here we are you know and if you can always continue to look at things that come up in your life as just like one more thing to, that's going to make you the best version of yourself, the most beautiful that you can be, give you all that you deserve and want and desire, then, then you know, you, you alleviate, you know, the angst and, the, and all of the fear behind change or challenges or whatever, you know? Because like I said in my last video, there really is no failure. Failure is when you just stop altogether. Failure is when you settle. And accept and just say, huh, it is what it is. No, it's not. No, it's not. Now, that can be true if you keep saying it is and that's what you believe. Whatever you believe can come. Oh, God. That's a, that's a whole nother, you know, there's a lot of different perspectives on that. But that's a whole nother thing. If you believe that, you know, that that's all there is. And okay, that's all there is. Your wish is my command. It's, it's pretty simple, but it's so powerful and it's so daunting when you have to like, constantly catch yourself and catch your thoughts like oh sh I, I didn't mean to say that I, did I just say that I really don't believe that I really don't believe that no 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 no. I know <laughs> and I am affirming that I am in control of my life 
<laughs> there is enough. There's there's more. There's there's everything I need and I want. And uh no, like <laughs> hurry up. You're like catching the words out the air. You know what I mean? You're like, no. <laughs> so um, thank you for watching this video. Until the next one. Um, I love sharing with you guys, and um, I hope again that somehow, some way, um, you guys are inspired to make your life every day, um, every bit of you know your experience magical and special, especially with your babies. Um, so, like I said, until the next video, peace, bye.